All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So I wanted to do kind of an update video in the story of Denis Zaplinkov, the Ukrainian hawk, the strongest biceps in the world by most measures. I mean, he's got the heaviest strict curl in the world. I just did a video about that. Um, he's one of the best arm wrestlers to ever live, defeating Devin Larratt in an arm wrestling match. Right before his health actually took a turn for the worse, I believe that was actually his last official arm wrestling match. And at his peak physical condition, he was a freak of nature. I mean, there was a reason why people referred to him as the Hawk or the Ukrainian Hawk, because he built this insane physique through his insane training to become the strongest curler in the world. He was also a powerlifter, a strongman, uh, like I said, champion arm wrestler. And it wasn't just his training. I mean, his genetics were crazy as well. He had hands that were like twice the size of a normal person's, which obviously are going to be very beneficial for arm wrestling and possibly for curling as well. And at his peak physical condition, he was six foot one, close to 310 pounds or 140 kilograms. This dude was massive. His proportions were insane, but recently he has downsized quite a bit because of some health issues. So that's what I want to talk about in this video. So that insane training that built his physique apparently is sort of responsible for the reason why he's downsized and lost a lot of the weight and size that he had. Um, so this all really stemmed from a health issue that he had. And I believe this all began late 2018, early 2019. So this initial health issue that caused this um, was some ruptured blood vessels near his kidneys that essentially what he was told that the cause of this was right before, I guess a day or two before, um, he was lifting a crazy amount of weight. He was using improper form and he was doing weight that he knew he couldn't lift. He was just trying to uh, lift a ridiculous amount of weight and just train crazy, really for no reason. And within a couple days time, um, he realized that something was seriously wrong um, and he saw blood in his urine and he knew that something was wrong. So when he went to the hospital, they said he had ruptured these blood vessels near his kidneys um, and they had to put a stint in. And I guess there were also some uh, complications from him having high blood pressure as well. Now, in addition to that, shortly after this, as a result of taking all the medication for the kidney issue and the blood vessel issue, um, he ended up finding out that he had a condition called neuritis. Now, a lot of people initially thought um, that he had actually suffered a stroke because his face looked like that of someone who had suffered a stroke, but it's a condition called neuritis. And essentially he said, um, he realized he couldn't, he had like this numbness in one side of his face. He couldn't feel his face. He said he couldn't close his eyes. And they went to the hospital and they diagnosed him with this condition. And he's only 38 years old. I know he might look a little bit older than that. And apparently it was a combination of these two conditions that led him to basically stop training the way he had been. He said he's mostly doing cardio and if any weight training, he's doing really high rep, low weight stuff. He's kind of living in this cottage, just focusing on recovery. Um, and apparently this summer, He's going to undergo a medical evaluation as to whether or not he can compete again, um, and that will determine whether or not he's going to be able to train and that his body is going to be able to handle the stress of preparing for a big competition like what he competes in um, with arm wrestling. So I actually looked at his Instagram, and right now it still appears like he is pretty downsized and he still appears to um, not look like he's gotten back to training. I don't think there's been any competitions for him. Um, so I think right now that status, that medical status, is still pending for him. However, I do think it's worth mentioning there's a video, a recent video of him getting back to training, specifically the curl, which we love to see. And there's a video of him on his Instagram within the last uh, few months of him curling 100 kilograms for multiple reps. And 100 kilograms is 220 pounds. Now, his strict curl world record was 249. So maybe this means he's at least getting back to the gym. But as far as I know, he doesn't have medical clearance yet um, to get back to competing. So when that update does come out, I'll keep you guys updated on this channel. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And hey, maybe hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed it. And as always, Nick Strength and Power, signing out.